long did, did yeah. it take for you to complete the course? And five. how was your experience? Five months. Oh. Yeah, it took me five months. Like I, I, and not only did I do it in five months, I did it five months and I did it two times. And then I went back and did it a third time before I got back in the combine. So in my mind, it was always, you know, as I, I, I hate to go back to martial arts, but eventually I feel like I'm going to be the G Kondo of, of trading because mm -hmm. in my mind, I kept thinking the more times I do the PAT system, the more it's going to be in my brain psychologically to take the trade. I had known that instantly the first time I got on the charts, I was like, oh, this is like playing basketball. This is like fighting. This is like football. This is competitive on an athletic level, except I'm not using my physique. I'm using my brain. You know what I mean? And I had acknowledged that. And I said, the, the brain will lie to you. It will trick you. It will play games with you. But muscle memory, exactly. muscle memory is different. Muscle memory is different. You know what I mean? Because even though your mind will tell you some bullshit, like, like today, uh, yes. today's trade, I don't know if you traded today, Doc, but I did. I woke up yeah. this morning and I traded around, I think, 8 something, 8.15, 8.10. We got, a, we got a textbook pat trade. I took that trade. The market was actually moving on my smaller chart in an uptrend. But I've already been programmed to look at the downtrend on the, on the, on the MAC, the downtrend on the structure chart. Mm -hmm. And when I got to the uh, uh, trading chart, it gave me an uptrend, but it turned around immediately. And I took the trade. That's muscle memory. Exactly. At that point, my mind's not making the decision. My mind wants to tell me, no, no, the market's going up. The market's going. No, it's not. It's not. It's a fake out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I took that trade. I think I don't know how to share my screen. I will show you. But that trade was four thousand nine hundred dollars today. Now, my next trade was a I took a um, I, I dropped down to uh, the micro E minis. And I traded 33 contracts in the micro E-minis because once I make a big trade like that, I no longer trade the ES. I go to the micro E-minis. It's my money management plan that I had to put in place. And we can talk about that too. And I dropped down to the E-minis and I took a loss for 200. I took an, I call I don't call them losses and wins. I'm changing my mindset. I call them, I finesse the market or I invest it in the market mm -hmm. because I'm going to day trade forever. Okay. Until I can't anymore. So it's not a loss. It, it's, it's all part of the game. It's an investment. All right. So I had to invest like 200 bucks. And then my third trade, because you taught me only take three trades, even though I kind of went against you and I take four, you know what I mean? I take four. Uh, I took my third trade and it was a win for 12 ticks and I'm done for the day and we're on this interview. But as I was saying, trading is a sport. It's a high paced sport. We get paid, paid on our performance. And so we have to perform and we need muscle memory to perform because when your brain gets fatigued, it's going to make mistakes. And that's why drills are so important. And I, and I think that if any company that has a program and has videos after seeing this video or after acknowledging what you have built and a team has built, they're going to have to step their game up without a shadow of a doubt, because you per se have a good trading strategy, but you haven't drilled your people on how to execute the trading strategy. That's like when people walk into my gym, the first thing I do is sit them down in front of a Mike Tyson fight. Be like, all right, now get out there and go do what Mike Tyson did. What? It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Makes no sense whatsoever. All right, we, 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 we're in week three. Watch this video. Look how Mike Tyson rolls. How he moves his head, okay? Look how he dips his head to the side. It, it, no, it's not gonna work because if I put that, that person in the ring with someone who I have drilled and taught him how to move his head to the side and dip his ear. See, that little, that little intricate piece of, of, of someone adjusting you and watching you and drilling you, this is different than this. Mm, okay. And this is what's missing in trading. Yeah, this is what's missing in trading because without something to correct you, like how you have in the patch system, when you get it right, it goes bing. When you get it wrong, it goes, and it doesn't tell you. You have to sit there and literally figure it out. I remember I used to be like, ah, I hate this. I hate it. Just tell me the answer. No, figure the answer out. You know what I mean? Because it's going to help you. And, and I love that, 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 that the system not only is a game, but it, but it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't give you the answer. You have to figure it out. Just like, and when you do it wrong, like someone doing this, this is wrong in the peekaboo, but this is right. 
me dipping my ear to the side to miss the miss the punch and moving my body. Mm. That one little thing can be missed in a video over and over. And now you're wondering, I'm dipping my head, coach, but I'm still getting hit it's because you're not practicing, right? And so that's what I liked about the patch system. And I also like that <laughs> what kept me in the patch system is my curiosity. You never told me what the what the what the actual trade was towards the end. You know what I mean? Yes. Like I had to wait till I finished it. Exactly. Because what we did, we broke the system to algorithms, the decision making in our uh -huh. mind. What we are doing that, that I'm consistent. I reverse engineered and I thought so. Um, what I'm doing is first I'm looking at this chart, then I'm looking at the volatility and these and that. These are algorithm. Every decision we make is an algorithm. It's a question of yes or no, and it leads us to the next step. So that reason we just train one person on, for example, first algorithm after basic for maybe several hundred degrees. Yes, you remember. Then second algorithm, till you don't pass the first one, you are not eligible to go to the next one. So right. you mentioned the importance of drills and quick, immediate feedback, because even if I'm sitting you close to you, I cannot teach you. That's a fact. The only the is like flight simulator. Fact. It's like a game. Game can teach you the level by practicing. And those drills that we created, it took us a long time, two years. And we revised the program 440 times, actually to improve it to in a right sequence that has no gap, educational gap, but create ad, advanced drills for every algorithms. Because if you don't do it enough many times, probably it's boring, yes? It's like gym. Uh, you uh, it was someone... boring as hell. Yes. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The, the first time around, Doc, it was fun because you know, it, it, I was like, I just wanna know. I wanna know what is the, what is the strategy, you know? You know what yeah. I mean, like, and I even went back to the market with the little bit that I had learned and I went back and I'm testing things and I'm like, oh my God, because remember I came from somebody who had already kind of given me my training wheels. So I didn't even know, I was like maybe in like module six and I'm like, oh, I'm going to use this stuff now. And it was working. And I was like, I just can't wait. Now it got boring when I did it the second time and the third time. And when I do it on the weekends now, it's very boring. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, you're right. Yes, because your mind wants to learn fast. It's like a educational fields that you say, okay, I'm gonna learn math. So after learning this, I'm gonna use it for many years. And the learning process is very fast because it's a content knowledge. But this is not, this is kind of algo decision making based on a skill and a skill takes time. You have to practice till you develop that skill. And that becomes right. the boring part what necessary part. So the LMS system right. forced you. You have to complete all these drills repeatedly and it's from live market pictures and situations till you, for example, see the turning point. Uh, pullback completed, algo four, yes. Uh, the high probability trading area, algo three pass, yes. So all of this I is agree, yeah. embedded in your mind and it becomes your second Come nature. On. And you're not gonna, as you said, muscle memory, good, good uh, example uh, from your coaching. So it's your mind muscle memory to do this now in a right sequence. Look at the charts in a right sequence, make process decision because it's algorithm and process together, you need to do it right. You need first to do algo one, then if it passed two, if not a stop. If algo three pass, good. Right. Algo four, if not a stop. So many times you have to stop and you cannot just jump, but you were very interested and excited to see the whole picture at the beginning. And yeah, you kept, yeah, you kept yeah, going yeah. and you kept going. And I remember when you finished, you again review it again. And because you need to do it again all together to click it more. Every time you practice, it's not, you, you may teach punching in five minutes, but you would ask the person to practice for the lifetime, yes? Yeah? Because every time right. he, he punch, he learns something new, a speed, endurance, right. 
um, everything improves in the athletics field. And the same, as you said, it's a high performance field of competition. So there are people who practice every day and they're going to beat you in the morning. So, so glad that you finished that, you reviewed that.